So this here is going to be a video on how to paint the uh, paler faces of, of chaos, uh, troops, chaos, soldiers, chaos characters. So we've done this in several videos so far, and each time it sort of blended inside of the, the video. So I thought it'd be useful to pull that out and make it its own its own video. So I'll reuse a lot of the clips that I used for the, um, uh, the Chaos Lord with the Jump Pack, the uh, Emperor's Children one that you see on the right here. Um, but what I'm going to do is just sort of talk us through it a little bit more and then show you kind of how we finished it off because that was much later in the video. Uh, we did the same thing for the Alpha Legion troop here as well. We did the same thing for Abaddon when we painted him. And uh, unfortunately the directions for his video for his face was blended uh, all over the place because we were doing the face and we were doing the, the skulls and then back and forth again. So it, it's probably good to have one spot where we can find all of this info and it'll help me as I'm redoing more and more faces as we go down the line here for other characters. So we'll do the face first and the face is going to go a base color of Rakarth Flesh. So we'll do all those and we'll meet back here in just a few minutes. So this is our model now that we finished with the Rakarth Flesh. So we're about ready for shading now. The face is going to get some Reekland Flesh Shade. So the Reekland Flesh Shade will very lightly go over the face. Just like so. So now that the Reekland Flesh Shade we put on the head is dry, what we're going to do is start bringing highlights on that particular spot. So the first thing we're going to do is take that Rakarth Flesh that we used before, and we're going to put a dry brush layer of that right over the top of that head again. Just like that. So we'll allow that to dry and then we'll move on from there to the next layer. So now that the rack of flesh is dry, what we're going to do is one more highlight layer on the face with Pallid Witch Flesh. And since that's a very, very light color, we're not going to need very much of it at all. Just like that there. <clears throat> so that finishes off her face. So after we finish with the Pallid Witch Flesh, uh, just final highlight layer that we did in the video, um, as you can see, we've done it on him as well, just above his brow line. So you see that lights up a little brighter. What we did after is we went through with just a fine detail brush, putting a drop of Nulin Oil into each of the um, the eyes and then as that dried that that added a little bit of darkness there and you get a little bit of detail for each where the two eyes are and then we did the same thing again with a little bit of Carsberg crimson and what we did there is we put that in his mouth and so we got the um, the final little bit of detail that you see in, in on this model the uh, Emperor's Children model is a little trickier to see because he's got that respirator in front of his face. But with the Abaddon, you can clearly see the facial detail that are there. Um, and so that's sort of how we, we end it. When it dries, you get that little tinge of color that, that helps that stand out. And you get pretty much the, the effect that you're looking at right here. 
So I hope this video was helpful. I hope it uh, uh, sort of gave you a spot to go and get some info on the fly as opposed to watching a whole video to, to get just these little few details. Uh, if you found it helpful, please feel free to leave a comment or a like. And uh, otherwise than that, we'll see you at the next video. This was sort of a bit of a short one, mainly because I wanted to take this out and put it sort of where I could find it later um, instead of watching whole videos to get the, the one little piece of info I wanted. So hopefully you enjoyed this and we will see you again on another video.